Father, we glory to God. Tonight, I see you once again. I want to, this video I want to make now that you want to listen to is what I want to advise uh, all the AAC supporters and Mr. Chowole, Chowole, the presidential candidate of AAC. I want to tell you something. I was, though this one, this now to say now happened. Before I release the video of um, how Mr. Shoulder will win, will, will win next year election. So, but I, I feel it's good for me to say this. It's good for me to say this. I saw um, Donald Trump. I saw Donald Trump in the realm of the spirit, in the spirit. So, and he's not happy about you, Mr. Shoulder. I don't know what is the cause. But I want to talk to you. I want to tell you something. Because I believe to guide you, to guide you in truth. So he I know I saw Trump, he was very he's not happy with you. He was saying something about you and the Moral Moralu, you know, the, the other guy that you know Moralu was him, I don't know like it Moralu. He was saying that he's telling you guys something that you guys don't want to do. I don't know what is that, that I don't know what he said that he's telling you guys to do, that you guys don't want to do. This is Donald Trump talking in the name of the spirit. So I don't know what is that and I don't want to know. This is what he was saying. But one thing I want to tell you is that it, the same is God that put Donald Trump in power. Is not anybody. It's God that allow him to be the president of the United States of America. I don't want you to to mind or to care about what anybody is saying. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. I don't want to go beyond this. Don't be distracted. All that I want to tell you, he said he said told you told you something, and the moral moral you know, that he advised you people for something and you people don't want to listen. But listen to what I want to tell you. Listen. The book of Proverbs chapter 28. Pro, oh no, sorry. Proverbs 16, I think. Proverbs chapter, chapter 16 verse 7 said something. Said, when a man's way, when a man's way please, please, please the Lord, when a man's way please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Proverbs chapter chapter 16, verse 7. When a man's way pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Sometimes I I look at myself. I don't believe any man. I don't believe any woman. My I don't trust anybody when it comes to something like this. I only trust God, the one that can do the undo, the one that can do the incredible. No man can help you, no man can help you and put you in power. The only person that can help you is the almighty, the all-powerful, is the, is the creator of heaven and earth, the highest, the highest God. The, the, I'm talking about the, the all-power, the God almighty. This is the, the person that you have to Put your trust and live to praise him now. Go to him in prayer. Secretly talk to him to do it for you. To do it for you. And the, I want the whole supporters to back you up in prayer. Because the war, the warfare is in the spirit. Once God gave us this victory in the realm of the spirit, this is which you know. This is what I am trusting God, and this is where I am watching. I am seriously watching, and for, so you know what I'm seeing so far is giving me joy. But let us continue joy hand together to see it happen, because if you put your trust in any man or any woman, they will fail you. But God will never fail. God will God will not fail you. God will not fail you. Put your trust. Let try do everything possible. Speak to God. Converse with Him. Make a promise to Him. Tell Him what you want to do in that great country 
called Nigeria. Tell God, he is seeing your heart. He is hearing what you are speaking for your mouth. He is hearing it. Bible says that righteousness, righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to anybody. If you stand in righteousness, if you stand in righteousness, Mr. Shoulder, if you stand in righteousness, as I'm seeing it, I'm seeing you speaking it from your mouth. There is heaven will back you up. As they are backing you, they will back you up more than more than what they are doing right now. If you stand in truly in righteousness and you want to exalt righteousness in Nigeria, you don't need anybody. If God be for you, who can be against you? If God Almighty be for you. When Donald Trump was contesting for a presidency, majority of the people did not believe what happened. But it is God that put him there. It's God that put him there. And now I want to don't put your trust in Donald Trump. Don't put your trust, your trust in Putin. Don't put your trust in a France president or British authority or government. Don't put your trust in anybody. They are bound to fail you. But God, if God say yes, if God say yes, no man, no authority, no president in the whole world, they don't have choice than to stand in fear and in, in our way of what the, 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 the greatest, the highest authority is doing. The case of Nigeria I want all the international community to hands up, to remove their hands. Because if God be for you, they can't do anything. They can't do anything. But my advice to the believers, once again, is that Bible said that we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. They did not love their life, even unto death. The thing that gave the war that broke in heaven between God and the, his angels and his armies and Lucifer and the you know and, and, and the, the dragon. The thing that gave the victory is the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Not alone. That is not the only thing that gave the victory. The saints did not close their mouth. They are busy releasing the word of God. They are busy bombarding, bombarding the, 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 the powers of hell with the with the word of God by the words of their testimony. We overcame the devil. We overcame the devil in Nigeria. We overcame the devil in the whole world by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. If you cannot can open your mouth as a child of God, as a believer, I'm talking to all the supporters or all the lovers of, if you love Nigeria, you want to see good, begin to release the word of God. Begin to pray. Let misery be going out of your mouth. Heaven cannot do without your word. The devil cannot operate in the earth realm without a vessel. And our God cannot operate in the earth realm without a vessel, without me and you. So when we are speaking and decreeing, and decreeing the word of God, we are busy discharging the power of God. And the God, because God will pick up his word that you are listening and begin to deal with the enemy. The blood is in the spirit. So the word of God joined together, joined with God's spirit, joined with, the, with God's spirit, it can slay any evil. It can massacre any devil and, devil and demons. It can massacre all the fake pastors and fake, pastors and fake authority and fake you know, powers that are operating and saying that good will not happen in that nation or in the whole universe. If we can combine the, the, the word of God can release the word of God. The, the, the Messiah, the Messiah, the word of God is the highest, highest power that can do the undo. If we can begin to, through prayer, decree and speaking and releasing the word of God, something will happen. Something will happen. We overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the words of that, you know, by the words of that, that, you know, that testimony, if you can understand this, you know, you know, the Bible is very, very clear for us on, to understand that there is power enough in the word of God. There is power enough in the word of God. The victory is not won only, but only through the blood. The victory was won through the saints, releasing 
their prayer speaking the word of God. And the God is busy using his word, slaughtering the enemy. Now, let me tell you something. He magnifies his word above all his name. When you discharge the word of God, when you speak the word of God, he pick it up, it becomes fire. When the blood is 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 is, is flowing, the blood just is flowing, and the descent begin to release, release the word of God. It 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 sets the devil, the evil kingdom, it will set them on fire. This is the victory. This is the victory. We don't need anybody to approve this. There's no power that can quench the power in the blood of Jesus and the power in the word of God. Why is God always commanding his children to go in the old, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the old testament, in the olden, olden time, to face a, a nation, evil nation, a war? Because God need, need to use their hand to fight. God need to use them in the, in the earth realm. God uses them. Their weapon is empowered by God and God use, use them. To this. So why can't they fold their hands and stay? Boko Haram is busy killing and Christians fold their hands. Christians have become um, uh, uh, um, pity me, you know, which God is not. We are called by God, by God to, you know, we are anointed for battle to a spiritually, physically take charge, take control. Can it, no, 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 Occupy territory, occupy land, eliminate evil. That this is the thing that you're supposed to think. That if your pastor is truly serving God, there's no way for evil to stand in that country. There's no way. God, we told you know, God anointed Moses. He sent him to Egypt, and what did he do? He was speaking what God said, decreeing the council of God, and the Egyptians and the Pharaoh is also decreeing, decreeing their own. But what happened? Because the, the power of God, the, the announce of God, the, you know, the, the counsel of God that, that Moses is decreeing, the word of God opened his mouth and swallowed up all the wars, the demonic wars of the Egyptians. The counsel of God opened mouth and swallowed the counsel of the wicked. Many are the counsel of men, but the counsel of God. That we stand. Let us decree. Let us stand and decree the counsel of God in prayer, in discharging the word of God. We overcome the evil in Nigeria by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. If we can open up and to this, decree the counsel of God, this, release God's word. Anyway, you are. If you are truly supporting good to happen, God wants us to stand now, pray for the counsel of God to stand in that great country. Pray for Mister Shawani. I said to you, I want good to be restored back. I want good to come back to Nigeria. I want to see evil no more. And the, everything created knows this, that AAC can do this. And the only thing I will promise you, my only promise is that if God gave you this victory by his grace, before you step your feet into Asorok, before you will sit down there to, you know, to, to begin to, to, to operate, don't worry, I will land there and those shrines, the, the mood and put down there, I will come and back you up by the Spirit of God, by the grace of God. Those nonsense things that is there will be wiped out. I will come and slap out those nonsense demons, different demons that is there. Send them packing. Because if, if you know, that place needs to be sanitized for you to do the good that you want, you want to do for that great nation. So don't be afraid. Let God give, let, let, let God give you the victory. Then how to sanitize the place is a common thing. The devil is dead and is a loser in that nation called Nigeria. Forever, let God's, God's children rise up. Please try to educate people. Tell them. Tell them what God wants to do. Atiku can't see, can't help that country. He is coming to make it worse. He is coming to make it to spread the darkness. Buhari, as you all see, Buhari is a calamity. The one that is dead right now, the Jubilee or whatever, whatever, I don't know what they call him or Sudan. You know, let us join hand together. It is only in Nigeria that such a story is going on. If this man is dead, at which I know that he is dead. Let us join hand together. Hmm? Join hand together now in prayer. Shame and disgrace is the apostle already because 
the atrocity and the evil that is hidden in that nation need to be unveiled. And this is the time. Through prayer, many things will happen now. God bless you. And as I say to you, let us stand in faith. Trust in God. Our faith must be in God. Let us trust in God. Not any man or any woman. Let God do it for us. Okay, God bless you so much. As you hear this, help me and let other people to know what God intended, what God wanted to do in Nigeria. If we can't stand now and the fight is a battle, by force, we must take it by force, by force. God bless you.